public speaking is a learnable skill i repeat public speaking is a learnable skill just like you learned all the other subjects for example you learned economics you learned physics chemistry biology in the school days or you learned how to do your work in an organization you learned cooking you learned swimming you learned singing so all those things are also not known to you once remember when you wanted to cycle first time you wanted to learn it but you did not know it so believe it when i say public speaking is a learnable skill a couple of weeks ago a group of lawyers invited me for a discussion on public speaking skills i met a very young um, lawyer who enrolled about 3 uh, months ago actually he has done exceedingly well in the law college but the problem was he knows the subject but he was suffering from the glossophobia we were discussing about what is the point in wanting to be a lawyer where you have to go convince a judge in the same court hall there will be a lot of advocates some of them very senior to you the clients may be watching you just visualize a scenario like that he said sir i was fumbling right another lawyer said sir i have about 5 years experience as a lawyer i'm thorough in my case but when it comes to presenting in front of a judge i have a knee jerking uh, experience how do you help me sir and the same thing is uh, expressed to me in executive meetings when you want to present a very difficult um, project to a managing director chairman or a board member how are you going to present it i was talking to a, a chief executive officer of a multinational the headquarters is in united states he is the head for the all india i was mentoring him he said and see i am going to us next one week i will not be available he said i am going to make a presentation to my boss i have to present him the next 3 years plan i asked him how much time your boss will give you he asked me can you guess i said maybe half an hour he said you should be joking he will give me only 10 minutes in that 10 minutes my fate will be decided this is what happens when you have to make a presentation so in this episode i'm going to discuss how a skill is learnt before that there's a beautiful quotation by ralph waldo emerson every artist was first an amateur every artist was first an amateur similarly before he started uh, speaking public you are a novice there are four stages you may make a note of it one is unconscious incompetence there is uh, let me give a simple example of uh, learning to cycle and uh, there was a cycle you were about maybe about 3 4 year old and you saw your elder brother cycling you wanted to cycle but you were not knowing unconscious incompetence you were unconscious until you saw your brother cycling right you were unconscious you didn't know that there is a cycle there is a cycling and all that unconscious incompetence but the moment you saw your brother cycling you got to the second stage conscious incompetence you became conscious that you did not know how to cycle that's all the, the difference between these two unconscious to conscious the third one is okay you wanted to learn cycling okay you started uh, cycling somebody helped you that is the stage called conscious competence you are very very conscious where is your hand where is your foot Uh, where is your uh, you know what is the uh, where is the uh, front brake rear brake very very conscious and you start learning after a couple of months you go to the fourth stage 
unconscious competence unconscious competence you will you will forget the first time you felt nervous in this stage automatically your hands will operate your legs will operate same thing will happen when you start learning the public speaking the only uh, thing that you should do is persevere look for an opportunity to speak again i repeat human beings are the only species on earth who are endowed with the gift of communication if you like this episode share this episode we'll meet in the next episode